In this situation, we would like to have a retirement account where we withdraw $4,750 each month for 18 years. And this retirement account earns 6% annual interest. I'll leave the first part to you, but let's figure out how much money we need in the retirement account now. So this is a payout annuity. So we go to the financial calculators and we're looking for the payout annuity. So we scroll down a little bit. This is the payout annuity slash loans calculator. And we are solving for the present value of the annuity. So we have the payment or the deposit amount, which is the 4,750. We have the interest rate is 0 0.06. Make sure to enter as a decimal. We have the number of withdrawals each year is 12. And we have the number of years, which is 18. So we can just hit enter, or click to the side, and we get how much money that we need in this account, which is $626,514.91. Now, the second part of this situation is you want to enter the information into a table into Excel. This table is a special kind of table called an amortization table, where it keeps track of the balance and the interest gained and the principal loss and everything like that for the entire life of the account, which is in this case, 18 years. So we start with the beginning balance at month zero, which is what we just found, $626,514.91. And then with the withdrawal amount is what we were given. That's the 4,750. And then the interest gained that's how much interest we get from the previous month's balance each month. However, we have the annual interest rate, which is 6% annual interest. So we want to figure out what is the monthly interest rate. So we can have Excel calculate this for us to figure out the monthly interest rate. We take the annual interest rate, 6%, and break it up into months or divide it by 12. So we're doing an equation. So we type equals the annual interest rate, which is 0 0.06, and we divide it by 12 because of 12 months. We hit enter, and 0 0.005 or half a percent is the monthly interest rate. So to get the interest gained on the first month, we take the previous month's balance and multiply it by the monthly interest rate. So we do equals the previous month's balance, that is cell E2, and we multiply it by the monthly interest rate. And we can use the cell as a reference, G3. Now here, when we do the drag fill, it will also drag from G3 to G4 to G5, but to tell Excel to stay on G3, we can just put a dollar sign in front of the three. And we hit enter and that's how much interest we get on our balance in the first month the about three thousand dollars so the principal lost is how much money actually is removed from the balance so we took out four thousand seven hundred fifty dollars but we also gained three thousand one hundred thirty two dollars so the difference between those, you know, the remaining amount is how much we actually took from the balance. So we take the withdrawal amount, which is B3, and we subtract from it the interest gained, which is C3. So we hit enter, and the net loss of the account is $1,617. And so that means the remaining balance after month one is the previous month's balance. Take away the principal that was lost, the $1,617. So this is equals the previous month's balance. That's E2 minus the principal lost, which is D3. We hit enter, and this is now the new balance. So we're going to have to do this for... 18 years and 12 times 18, let's see what that is, equals 12 times 18. So we're gonna have to do this for 216 months because 18 years, 12 times a year. But we don't wanna type this 
260 times so we can have Excel just fill in the rest for us. So let's do the months first. So we just highlight with the thick white cross. You click and drag, let go. So they're both highlighted. And then we can fill drag. So put your mouse over the little green box in the corner. So you have the thin black cross. You click and drag until you see that number on the right get to 216. So we're going to have to drag down off the screen for a little bit until we get to 216. There we go. Now we have it filled in for every single month. Let's scroll back up. And we want to fill all these in all the way down. So we can just highlight Remember, the thick white cross. You just click the withdrawal in B3 and drag all the way to the balance in E3 and you let go. And then you can just hover over the little green box in the corner to fill drag. So you got the thin black cross and you can just double click that thin black cross until it fill drags all the way down and it looks like we have an error here because we have negative balance over on these last few months so let's look back and see what has happened now if we scroll up and look at the start we see that the withdrawal amount is changing each month it's increasing by a dollar so it looks like excel wanted to create a pattern out of this withdrawal amount but that withdrawal amount should stay fixed every month so it's an easy fix we can just click on the first withdrawal amount this is the correct amount this is what they all should be and we can see let's try just doing the drag filler double clicking that little green box in the corner and okay that made it all the same consistent so let's scroll down and see what our ending balance is after the 18 years it's zero dollars that is the goal. We want this ending balance here on the very last month, in this case, month 216, to be zero dollars. So this all looks good. And we can see what our balance is on any given month. We can see how much interest we get on any given month.